So United LA was a few weeks ago, and I must admit that after watching the keynote, I wasn't particularly impressed. Of course, the video effects graph looks amazing, and we did get to hear more about ECS, but for me, that was mostly it. However, that completely changed after Unity held their roadmap talk. In the roadmap, Unity announced so many new features that I think are fundamentally going to change the way that people use Unity. It seems to me that 2019 is just going to be a year where Unity ties up a lot of loose ends. This is of course really exciting to see, since a lot of this stuff has been talked about for such a long time, and I think it's going to make Unity better for both programmers and artists. So let's have a look at what's coming to Unity in the near future. But first, this video is sponsored by Res and I, who worked with Unity to create an awesome free plugin called Unity Visual Search. Unity Visual Search allows you to find the perfect 3D assets for your project on the Unity Asset Store. With with the help of Resonize AI-powered engine, Unity Visual Search understands precise structure and geometry, so you can easily find visual similar objects to the ones already in your scene. You can even filter searches by price, polygon count, and number of materials. Not only does Unity Visual Search help you find the perfect assets, it also lets you preview and play around with them inside of your Unity scene. So if you're looking for high-quality game-ready assets that will help you build beautiful prototypes in no time, you gotta check this out. Unity Visual Search is a complete completely free plugin, so I definitely recommend you click the link in the description and try it out. So, ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and get ready for takeoff because- Who put this in here? <laughs> who talks like this? Is it game to video, not a boxing ring? So, without a doubt, the biggest feature that Unity announced at Unite is visual scripting. That's right, visual scripting is coming to Unity. One of the biggest reasons for people to choose Unreal over Unity has always been Unreal's blueprints. A visual scripting solution is just a great tool for artists or non-programmers in general who needs to modify the game without needing to write and understand C-sharp code. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised that we're only seeing a built-in solution for this now, given how many people have requested this over the years. Regardless, it's going to be really interesting to see how Unity chooses to implement this feature and how much it's going to borrow from existing solutions like Blueprints or Bolt. So far, Unity is promising a preview release in 2019.2 with more features being added in 2019.3. It looks like it's gonna have what you would expect from a modern visual scripting tool with inclusion of live editing, which is definitely really cool. I'm just really excited to see how this tool is gonna be received by the community. Next up, we have some updates to the package manager. This includes a UI overhaul, the ability to install and host packages using Git, and with 2019.3, we will see asset store support. They're also planning to add a project browser that will make it easier to search for and navigate through packages both locally and on the asset store. Now in version 2019.1, the old Unity launcher is finally being replaced by Unity Hub. Also Unity Hub 2.0 comes with a new UI and with that, a dark mode. It also supports CLI and features advanced templates which allow you to search, categorize and customize your templates. And Unity Hub finally allows us to interact with the project list. Other than that, the entire asset import pipeline is getting replaced, which means yes, much less waiting for huge projects to load and that's all I have to say about that. And now to something Unity has never done before. Redesign their entire editor. Now Unity has talked about this before, but we're slowly gathering more information. This means new icons, a new font that is adjustable in text size, and hover state controls to give a more responsive UI. Also, it seems to have a much more flat look than the current editor. At first, I didn't really like it, but the more pictures I see, I must admit that it's growing on me. But isn't it always like this with new UI? Also, judging by by the slides shown, stuff like the terrain system, pro builder and polybrush all being integrated into the new editor. This is such a needed change, since all these tools are currently completely independent and frankly a bit weird to use. And along with the new editor design, we are also getting new ways that we can customize and extend it through code. As of 2019.2, we will be using UI elements to build editor tools for the new UI. UI elements is going to have some really nice improvements to the old system, such as CSS support a more performant UI renderer and runtime preview. And along with completely redesigning the editor, Unity is also adding a shortcut manager. From version 2019.1, Unity allows you to create your own shortcuts for pretty much any action you would like. It even has its own API. Now this might not seem like a big deal, but I think it's going to improve the general Unity workflow and make it much easier for advanced users to speed up their process. And now something that has been needed for such a long time. 
a new input system. I think we can all agree that Unity's current way of setting up input is pretty much horrible. You have this large list of input that is hard to manage and each input is so easy to mess up. The new input system improves this a lot and it's actually been available on GitHub for quite a while now. Basically, it adds the ability to group together input using action maps, bind input to actions and add combos. You can also add processors to the input to do stuff like adjust sensitivity or add dead zones. As for the terrain improvements, I'm still not impressed by what Unity is showing us. There are of course a bunch of performance improvements in 2018.3, and in 2019.1 they are adding terrain holes. But if that's all they currently have planned for the future, I think it's a bit underwhelming. Of course, I completely understand that it takes time to lay a new solid foundation for a system like this. But I'd still like to hear that a complete tool redesign is at least on the roadmap, especially when it comes to texture painting. At least we know that Unity has now assembled a team that only focuses on terrain. Now, one of the big things that have been missing in terms of 2D has been dedicated 2D lighting. But with 2019.1, we can expect to see 2D lights and shadows, including 2D shape-based lights, point lights, and spotlights. Now, I'm really excited about this, but looking at the example footage Unity showed in the talk, I'm actually a bit confused as to what it means. We've always been able to use 3D lights together with a lit shader to achieve effects that look similar to what we see here. Now I'm sure that the new system is going to be more performant, and being able to create shape-based lights is definitely really cool. But one of the big missing things for me has always been a way to do shadows similar to what a plugin like 2DDL does, and I'm not currently seeing that here. If anyone knows more about this or have any thoughts, definitely let me know in the comments, because I'd love to know more. So these are the main features that Unity will be implementing in 2019, but I think there are still a few features that are worth mentioning. Unity 2019.2 comes with improvements to the console window. Already in 2018.3, Unity is adding physical camera support to Cinemachine. ECS is getting more integrated with actual scene editing and a simplified API. The Burst compiler is heading towards a version 1 release. And last but not least, Project Tiny is set to launch at the end of December. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Also, definitely continue the feature hype over at discord.gg. Brackies. Also, don't forget to try out Unity Visual Search. It's completely free. Simply click the link in the description to get started. On that, thanks for watching, and Andreas is now going to sign you off with a bird calling. <laughs> <laughs>